Hello again, everybody. Um, let's uh, restart this. Uh, sorry, I got a, an urgent call from work that I had to pick up and I didn't want to uh, leave you in, uh, in mute for like 10 minutes. So uh, what are we doing today? So today we are discussing publication strategy and the role of um, small journals in your publication strategy, okay? And um, I, I guess, you know, the, the title of the stream is, mean, is meant to anchor this discussion on the question on whether it is easier or not to publish in smaller journals. And to discuss that, what I want to do is I want to contrast my own publication strategy with the publication strategy of a, a, a co-author of mine that, you know, some, someone with whom I have not co-authored co for, for several years, but with whom I co-authored a lot in, in the past. And um, we have very different um, strategies for, uh, for publication because we have very different goals, okay? So their goal is to publish a lot and to have the shortest review cycles possible. So what they do is they send papers to journals one or sometimes even two levels lower than uh, the journals where these papers could be published. So if you have, uh, if they have a paper that, you know, could be published in, in MR or MJ or Science or Studies, MS Quarterly, they would not send it there. They would send it to uh, a level two journal. So this would be something like human relations uh, or uh, I don't know, journal of business research, you know, something that is, that is uh, one category lower in, in the lists or sometimes even, even something lower. So like European management review or European management journal, they, they would send it there. Because it is true that if you send uh, a, a paper to a journal that on average gets papers of lower quality than the paper you're sending, you are going to have an easier time publishing that paper because that paper could be, could be published in a journal that is far more demanding, okay? So you still get good reviews, you still get good, good feedback, but, you know, um, let's say, the, the, the real good difficult things in reviews sometimes are not like big deals, you know, like even when like, at least in my experience, when, when people ask me to, to change the, the theory, for example, in my papers, it's not that the theory is wrong, but it is that the theory could be better. That could be a better fit between the theory, the framing and the data. So the framing that I suggest is, is good. It works with the data, but it does not exploit the data to the extent that another frame would. And so the contribution is smaller, right? So in, in these journals, you know, and again, this comes from my experience with, of writing with this person. In these journals, you know, it's, it's, it's easier to publish because you're sending them a paper of a level that, you know, and, and that they normally don't get. Okay, uh, so that's a strategy. And in the strategy, yes, it is easier to publish in, in, in all of our journals. Now, I have a different strategy. So my own strategy is I send my papers to the highest level journals that I can. Now, uh, in qualitative research, the comprehensiveness of your data matters for how well you can publish. So you know, for example, the, the paper that you have on screen now, which is on a, a, a category three, I'm writing the review letters. Um, this, you know, this paper is, um, you know, is, is basically, uh, is based on 30 interviews um, that are, you know, relatively short, um, there's no observation and, you know, and so like, you know, I can only take the data so far. It's also about volunteering, which is something that is not, you know, management journals doesn't, 
do not publish a lot on. And I do think that there is an important contribution to volunteering in this paper. And obviously, I know I can reframe it as something else. But, you know, I don't want to do this. I, I do want to make this statement about volunteering. I think it's important to the literature. So, so I know I, you know, this is a category three uh, paper or low category two. So, and all my papers are like that. So I send my papers to the highest uh, level that I can send. And that means that, you know, publishing a, a category one or, a, you know, a very good paper in a very good journal is as difficult. And, you know, depending on the paper, sometimes it's easier than publishing an OK paper in an OK journal. Right. Uh, because, you know, uh, then you'll be part of the average level of paper quality that the OK journal gets. Right. In my sense, I, I don't do this, but my sense uh, is that the reviews that I get for OK journals are of lower quality than what I get in top journals. And uh, I think this is not because of the work that reviewers do. It's just uh, that, you know, I mean, I feel that, you know, reviewers like really put a lot of work in, in reviewing, even in very small journals. It's just that um, in top journals, I tend to get reviews of people that, you know, are really working on either the topic of the, you know, the really focused topic of the paper or very close to it. Um, and they really, you know, uh, have uh, an appreciation for the subtleties of the literature and therefore they are more demanding because they know the topic really well. They have published on the topic. Um, whereas in smaller journals, you tend to get people that are not doing work on that specific topic. So they'll just come from, you know, they'll just do a, they'll come from a sort of a generic perspective. So they are researchers like I am, they can understand research. They can see when uh, that research is following good procedure or not. Uh, they can read the paper and see, you know, if, if they buy the gap that I'm presenting or not. But, um, you know, they're not part of the discussion that I'm, I'm contributing to. And so, you know, independently of how much effort they, they, they put into the paper, it is more difficult for them to write reviews with, with the subtlety and the precision that somebody that is actually engaged in these discussions will do. So this means that, you know, uh, reviews sometimes can be, you know, very demanding and you need to, to discuss things that, you know, you'll never discuss in a top journal. So for example, in this review, I, you know, I have, to write on the paper and then expand on the letters on, you know, the epistemology, the epistemology, the epistemology of qualitative research. You know, that's obviously not easy. I mean, you know, I, I think I can hold my own. I can explain why qualitative research is a valuable research method, but you know, then we enter in, 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 in a difficult, uh, discussion and epistemology is essentially a choice, right? So, um, so yeah, so uh, really tough. So, long story short, the answer to the, to the question is it easier to publish in, in lower journals? Yes, if you are sending your paper to uh, a worse journal uh, than, uh, and I do quote unquote, because there are very good papers in these journals, very good editors, very good reviewers, but just the, the citation counts and the average quality of the papers is, is lower in publications. Okay. It is easier if you are sending a paper that could hit the top journal, if you send it to a lower journal. It is, I would actually say more difficult, but at least as difficult if you are targeting the journal that is at the level of your paper, which is my case. So what does that mean for your publication strategy? It means that variety does not ensure uh, publication. Okay. Variety does not ensure publication. 
I, you know, I'm on the third round of this paper in a, in a category three, can be rejected. So variety does not ensure publication. But, but, um, what ensures publication, or obviously does not ensure, but makes it more likely, is not variety in the quality of research, but variety in the quality of, of your outputs. So if you send good papers to journals that normally don't get papers of that quality, then you'll get quicker publication, uh, publication processes. So maybe something to keep in mind, depending on the stage of uh, the career um, that you're at. Okay. So hope this video is useful. useful. I'm sorry for the interruption when we uh, first started. And uh, I'll, uh, I want to wish everybody a uh, very nice Easter. If you celebrate, I do not, but if you do, happy Easter. And um, although Easter is a holiday here in France on Monday, I will, I will still stream on Monday. We'll have a, a nice um, uh, lunchtime <coughs> stream. Okay, uh, so I'll see you there. Have a nice weekend, nice Easter if you celebrate. And uh, as uh, my favorite YouTuber says, do good and be kind. Bye, everybody.